So this is Acer's 10 inch Aspire 1 533. It may not be much to look at, its design is pretty standard, but it packs some impressive specifications for its 300 pound price tag, like a fast 1.83 gigahertz N475 Atom processor, as opposed to the 1.66 gigahertz N450 processor that's found in most netbooks. It'll also give you around four and a half hours battery life, and that's with pretty heavy duty use. If you turn the screen's brightness down and the Wi-Fi off, for example, the 533 will go a lot further. Now onto design, and like Samsung's N230, the 533 is quite business-like, and even though it's got that fast processor with just one gig of RAM, despite being the faster DDR3 type, performance isn't hugely different to some of the netbooks we see with slightly slower processing power. Now there is a noticeable difference, this just isn't huge. But its high quality performance is especially noticeable when watching 720p HD video. Whereas some netbooks may skip or stutter when it comes to high def vid, the 533 handles it smoothly. And the wide viewing angle of the screen means sharing a movie while traveling, for example, is an option too. However, when it comes to sound, the 533 isn't great. It's not that it distorts badly or delivers particularly terrible sound. It's the maximum volume. It's irritatingly low and could just do with being a bit louder. And when it comes to the rest of the specs, the 533 remains the same as most netbooks. So it's got a screen res of 1024 by 600 pixels, which is bright and decent enough and not too reflective. It runs the Windows 7 Starter OS, has a 250 gig hard drive Wi-Fi and integrated Intel GMA graphics. Now connectivity is pretty standard too. There's three USB ports, VGA out and a memory card reader. Now given its HD capabilities, it's a bit of a shame there's no HDMI port, Acer seemed to have missed a trick with that one, but a surprise feature is Bluetooth 3.0, a feature I imagine not many people are pining for, but does mean you'll be able to transfer larger files from other devices like your phone directly to your netbook. Now moving on, it's got quite a good keyboard which is very important with netbooks. The keys are large and the layout is practical, making it all very comfortable to use. And as you can see, the trackpad, which is pretty big with its grid pattern, is blended into the bottom panel, which can make it easy to accidentally nudge and swipe. But it supports multi-touch, and there's a dedicated strip on the side to help scroll vertically through documents and web pages. And all in all, it's comfortable to use, and the single rocker delivers a noticeable click. So the 533 is quite good value for money and is cheap when compared to some of its rivals, some of which have slightly lower spec. Now the increase in performance is a much welcomed feature, albeit it's a tiny increase, but that's what sets it apart from other netbooks. However, rather than being must-have features, the faster CPU and Bluetooth 3.0, for example, are more incremental improvements. There are cheaper alternatives out there that offer similar performance levels. But negativity aside, if you are looking for a reliable 10-inch netbook, you might want to consider the Acer Aspire one five three three.